We're at the Lincoln Memorial this morning. We're here for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, the Out of Darkness Walk. Um, a lot of like thousands of people come every year and kind of walk to help um, support those who've been impacted by suicide um, and kind of bring hope. Um, that's kind of our mission statement as well, um, is to bring hope to those affected by suicide. We'll get this started officially in five, four, three, two, one. Already started. <laughs> when you're talking about something that has so much stigma attached to it, when people can come together in a way like this, um, with other people who have lost somebody, talk in an open way, see other people who have lost somebody, those sorts of experiences, that sort of seeing, some, being seen, seeing somebody, um, that kind of solidarity, um, sharing your story can be really powerful. I'm here with the GW chapter. We have our own team here. We raised over three thousand dollars for the walk, so it's really exciting. So we're one of the first student chapters across the country, but we're really focusing on figuring out what that means for GW. Uh, one of AFSP's goals is to create a culture that's smarter about mental health, and I think that's something that we really want to do here at GW. I think just creating a community that safely talks about mental health is such an important thing. Um, we all struggle with it, especially in college. I think we're all at a stage in our lives where things get very overwhelming. Um, we're also here to kind of just bring people together who have been affected by suicide, whether that's a family or a friend or a relative. Um, I think just creating a safe space for people to be able to come to um, on campus is such an important thing to be able to do. Our chapter hosts hundreds of um, free education programs in the national capital area every year. Um, so part of the funds that we're raising today and that the other walks that we hold in this area um, are used to fund those. So AFSP is also the largest funder of research into suicide and suicide prevention outside of the federal government. And also we do a lot of public policy work, so trying to push legislatures um, to, um, to pass policies that will save lives and that will, um, that will affect the lives of people who have lost somebody to suicide. Hello everyone. I think for me it's just been a really great way to connect with people who have had similar experiences, uh, realize that you're not alone in what you're going through. I think it, the big thing is normalizing this um, conversation about mental health and having that safe environment for people to come to and know that you can rely um, on people around you as well as just community. Um, and it's really nice to see so many people come out here. It's such an amazing cool. I'm a clinical psychologist um, and I have um, been working in the field of suicide, suicide prevention since graduate school, and I've just I've seen so many people come through my office and just through my life who who keep those things secret, and I think that those secrets can be really toxic. I understand why people feel the need to keep them, um, but I think that. For the majority of people, when they can, when those secrets can be shared, when they can, people can talk, people can find other people who are like them, even if it's just one person, it is enormously powerful. And that has been something that I have seen throughout my career and throughout my life, um, and it's been really, really meaningful to me.